Namaste everyone and thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial. So here we will talk about uh, an Angular application wherein you can search for food, right? You can add different food or cuisines to your cart, right? And also you can customize or, uh, you know, control your cart pricing. So how this application works, let's first talk about that. And after that, we will dive into the coding area where we will talk about a bit of coding, how uh, this application has been developed and how, uh, you know, I have used Angular 16 for creating the various functionalities, services, modules, and, you know, things required for the application. So let's not waste the time. Let's start exploring the application. So on the top, you can see we have uh, two options in the nav bar. One with name food, which, uh, uh, you know, redirects us to the home page, right? And if you click on cart, it redirects you to a page which says cart page is empty because we haven't added anything in the cart page. So basically it's a separate page that have been developed for showing the uh, items the user will add to the to its cart. Let's go back to the home page. So this is how you can come back on the home page from the cart page. Now these are some food items uh, that the user will see when he will first open the application. If you want to check out all the apply all the food items, he can click all. Right, then if you want to uh, check out the fast food items, you can click fast food. Likewise, you can check the pizza, you can check the uh, lunch items, you can check the slow food, hamburger, fries, soup. Right, so you know, this is how these tags over here work. And for creating this tags functionality, we have defined a separate uh, application you can say in our code. So let me just show you uh, the coding area also side by side. So this is the uh, application for the cart page. Then we have one for the food page, one which is controlling the header section, one for the home comp component, right? One for, you know, if suppose the user types here something or he gives a URL like this, which is not meaningful for the application. So he will be redirected to a page like this. It's a completely, uh, you know, blank page. In case he types something like, you know, this, which is not present in the food items list, right? So he will be re redirected to a page like this, where he will get to see nothing found. Right, so this is coming from not found app. Okay, reset search. Let's come down. So this is for the search functionality. Right, the, so uh, if you want to search, if a person want to search for some items of his, uh, you know, choice or things like that, he can simply key in the uh, keyword over here. Like if suppose you want to search for pizza, you can key in pizza here and then you can search for it, right? So these are the two items for in this category available to us. Okay, now suppose the user want to, uh, you know, get this pizza, okay, buy this pizza. So he can click here on this item, items image and he gets redirected to a page like this. Fine, so for creating this page or you can say this, page is coming from this food page named uh, application, right? If you know how Angular works, so you, uh, you must be understanding, you know, how this application, this project has been created. Now, as you can see, the price of this pizza is getting reflected over here. And uh, here there is a message for us, which says time to cook about 20, 10 to 20 minutes. Now we have some tags also over here with which we can redirect ourselves to the, uh, you know, relevant items. For example, I want to check out some fast food items. So this is how I can do it right now. It's the home page, right? But we are able to see only the fast food items. 
Likewise, if the user want to search for pizzas, right? So he gets redirected to the home page again, but he doesn't get to see all the items. In place of that, he gets to see only the items uh, for that category he has selected. Okay, likewise for lunch also, he can, you know, view the items like this. So let's order a pizza. Let's add a pizza to the cart. So I would like to add a vegetable pizza for me, add to cart. And as you can see, the moment I click the button, it redirected me to the cart. Okay, cart page. Now here I can change the number of pizzas I want to order. So quantity, let's make it three. So as you can see in real time, the price over here changed and here we can see the total price of the cart. Now, now if suppose uh, the user want to add some more things to the cart, he can surely do it. So I would like to order some fried potatoes also. Add to cart and now you can see the price over here changed. Okay, and we can see another item over here in the menu. Let's add uh, four more and I think this hasn't been coded properly. I'll have to check it out once again because I selected I think five or three earlier right but it again changed to one so this should not happen let's make it three okay so I can see uh, the total price of the card getting reflected over here let's go back on the food uh, home page and let's add some more vegetable pizza so if I click add to cart again they have changed to one okay so this uh, is an issue I'll have to check it out Fine. So, you know, this is the whole application. This is how the interface looks like. This is how the various, uh, you know, pages of the application looks like. And that's how it can be operated. Now, how, uh, you know, these modules are connected. Let's talk about that. So, I just want to give a gist of Angular to you, right? Because maybe uh, you are an Angular person, but... Uh, you know, it's better if you will understand the code also, which is working in the back end. So, uh, as you guys know that uh, index.html file is the, you know, main file. And then there is, uh, we have main.ts file, which is the entry point for uh, a Jangular, uh, an Angular application, right? Here we have all the assets and images and everything that we require for our application. Uh, now we have app-routing.module.ts where we have defined all the paths. So as you can see here, the search item redirects the user to the home component. Uh, if he doesn't give anything in the path, so initially the user comes on the home component only, right? Then if he search for any tag, if he make a search through a tag, he, the results which he gets to see uh, are visible, gets visible to him on the home page only, right? Then we have two more pages, one for food and the other for cart, right? So there are in total three pages that we have created, okay? And now let me just uh, tell you about these applications. So the, this is the tags, okay? From here, the tags are coming. I'm talking about these tags, okay? Then we have the, uh, you know, variables defined for, you know, different types of things, which you can see over here. So we have a variable which is controlling the pricing part. We have a variable for this clock part, uh, right? And likewise, there are, there is a variable which is uh, for this name that you're seeing over here, right? There is a variable which is controlling the images, fine. So all the variables that have been used for uh, declaring or defining the tags have been uh, are stored in tags.ts Then we have food.ts where we have stored all these variables and we are exporting it as a class named food. Similarly, we have defined cart items.ts okay, where we have defined some functions and this cart items.ts is linked with cart. So basically it is calculating the uh, price of the quantity which the user selects for a particular item. 
now if there are two or more than two items or you can say uh, if you want to uh, you know we see the total cart price over here so this price is coming from cart.ts the total price okay so there are there is a separate component for there is a separate ts file for this and a separate one for this but they are interconnected fine uh, then we have services. So here we have defined two types of services one for cart Right and another for food Fine, and then we are using these services in all these applications over here, right? I hope uh, uh, Things are a bit clear to you uh, try to make this application. I hope you'll be able to make it It's not a big deal if you are an angular guy definitely you can you know work around and figure out how can this app be developed and in case you need any assistance or any kind of help you can reach out to me on my number which i am going to share in the description section below right and let me tell you about my youtube channel also a little bit so if you are uh, a coder or you want to become a coder right so for you i have different categories of applications uh, you know, which I have explained in different videos I have on my YouTube channel. So you can find videos related to full stack development. Uh, Django projects are there. There are KVMD projects through which you can make, you know, mobile applications. There are Power BI related tutorials, which you are going to find really awesome. And you'll learn a lot of things over here, right, with these videos. Uh, if you want to become a cloud computing expert, so you can take these Microsoft Azure based video tutorials or else you can join my classes also in case you doesn't find uh, suitable material over here. Okay, then you want to become a good Python developer for you. I have these Python projects. So there is game development. There is machine learning, artificial intelligence, data science. Everything is there on you know my channel. We have shooted uh, whatever I've learned uh, last four or five years on Python. I'm a Python full stack developer by profession. And uh, since uh, the time I've started learning Python, I've also, uh, you know, tried to create videos of whatever I've learned on the daily basis. And most of them are project based videos. So, you know, there are more than 600 videos on my channel. And uh, in every project, in every video, I'm explaining some or the other project. So you're going to find the videos very, very interesting, right? In case uh, you want to understand the code, uh, you know, you want to take a one on one class from me, feel free to reach out to me on the number, which I'm going to share in the description section. So this is it from my side in this lecture. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, bye bye. Take care. And I will see you in the next one very soon.